There are a lot of poor people in our generation today. Not because the devil is powerful. And also not because God is wicked. But because the book of Osea chapter 4 said. It said my people. God's own people. Prophesying to the man prophet Osea. He said my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. He said give me understanding. I shall live. That was the man David speaking. Destroying the spirit of lack. Can we all echo it together this morning here? The of Can God hear your voice right now? The of if you know you are recovered fully from this epidemic that is ravaging the world, can you say it louder than that? The of if you know you will not be poor in your life, can God hear your voice right now? The of Lack is a spirit. And that spirit can be tamed. In this kingdom, hear this. We run by laws. Sorry, we walk by laws. Walk. You run by principles. That's why in the marathon race, they'll tell you when you want to start, you start gently. That's principle. You fly by instructions. That's why in the ovation world, they have instructors. It takes instruction to fly. The man David was speaking to his son Solomon. He said, my son hearken to the instructions of fathers. He said, dear light, that your life. He take instruction to fly in a dying world. And if you are going to succeed in this dark age, Isaiah chapter 60 from verse 1 to 6 talked about the dark age. He said, rise right, and shine for your light has come and the glory of God has risen upon thee. He went for the saying, he said, and darkness shall cover the earth. And it didn't stop there. He now said, gross darkness to people. Now, we are in that day that Isaiah was prophesying about. We are darkness. We cover the earth. We are people will be confused. We are men will be buffeted, confused, harassed, and caged in one spot. But for you to rise in this age, you need a flooding of light. That was why the first thing he said, he said, arise and shine for your light is come. It won't come, it has come. That every time light comes, rising is natural. That is, if we are going to sail in the order of wealth, now hear me, child of God, there are things you must engage by the flooding of light. And here this morning, I want to share on three major factors that must be in place if you are going to do well. The kids kaba damo makle to la banda kuske dibo hananza kilibro na hazana milo bali adono maka sefrek dige bani ha ha. Hear this. That plague of lack is destroyed from your life now. If you believe it, can your amen be the strongest here now? Amen. We have three keys that we'll be looking at today. One is the key of thinking right. Thinking right. Two is the key of supernatural wisdom. Three is the key of covenant practices. One is the key of thinking right two is the key of supernatural wisdom three is the key of covenant practices now hear me child of god once these keys are in place your success your prosperity is sure receive grace to do i thought you say better amen, amen. Now let's start with the first key this morning quickly. The key of thinking right. 
Proverbs chapter 23 verse 7 quickly. Proverbs chapter 23 verse 7. Thank you media. Let's read. For as he thinketh. Another translation said. As a man. He added the word man. But if you see the word as for as he, the word he stands for man. He said, but for as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. Let's take the A part of it. As he thinketh in his heart, not as what they said, not as what the economy is saying, is as to you. In proportion to your thought. That is if you think poverty. Nobody can pray for you to be wealthy. True words starts from the thought. Right. I come again. True words starts from, starts from the thought realm. There is a way a billionaire will think. That a papa will never think. I want you to understand that. That is, the journey to prosperity starts from your thoughts. Your thought realm. Jesus said, He said, let this mind be in you, which was in our Lord Jesus Christ. That is, if I'm going to succeed, I must work on my thought life, sir. There is a way the billionaires think. Now that their thoughts graduate to affecting the way they speak. And it doesn't stop there. It not transcend to the way they dress. With the billionaires, there is a way we think. There's a way we think. There is a way a beggar will think, no matter who prays for you, if your thought has not been corrected, you still be poor. It starts from the thought realm. As a man thinketh in his heart. He didn't say, as your background is. Zaga, Martin, Moma, Gani, Moma, Have you discovered that most of the people that ever end up becoming wealthy and influential, they came from a humble background. Because being from the humble brother, there's a way you adjust your mind. It puts in you the mind of work. It puts in you the mind of diligence. But those that their father has things, left things and all that, they think they have arrived. In Africa, we arrived so soon. That's why we don't have great people. God was speaking to us. He said, listen to me now. He said, I have said before you, Life and wealth, dead, blessings and curses. He now advise you, hear me, choose life that you may live. And you don't choose right if you don't have a right mind. That's where it starts from. That is, if I'm going to prosper, my mindset must be correct. My mindset must be correct. Romans chapter 12 verse 2. Quickly. Oh glory. And be not conformed to this word. But be ye transformed. By the renewing of your mind. You are seeing my there. That ye may prove. What is that good. An acceptable perfect will of God. For you to approve the will of God, you must have a renewed mind. And it is the will of God that you prosper and be in health. But you can't prove the will of the Father until you have a renewed mind. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. A renewed mind. That 
is where it starts from. It's not hustling for money. You have seen people that have made 20 million today, they are beggars. Your capacity is determined by your mind capacity. What you can sustain. Now listen, there's a difference between what you get and what you are. No matter what you get, if you are not what you get, you will still lose it. That is why to build your mind is to build your life. Hello? Am I talking to a church here? Your mind. The marriage that we walk starts from the mind. The marriage that we fail also starts from the mind. It also starts from the devil, sir. The devil is not the initiator. Your mind is the initiator. Am I talking to a church here? Somebody shut my mind. Say it louder. Matthew 4 17. That's the last one. Matthew 4 17. Quickly, Matthew 4 17. Oh, we give you praise. From that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, Repent, for the kingdom of, of heaven is at hand. I want to connect something. Philippians 4 8. For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Philippians 4 8. There is a mindset of the kingdom. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are pure, listen to this. Look up, look up, everyone. Look up. This Philippians 4 8 is the master scripture for mind transformation. Look at it. Look at it. This, this Philippians 4 8, this is the catalog of what you should be thinking about. What should be in your life? What should be in your mind? And I say, for, finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just. Whatsoever things are what? Pure. Whatsoever things are what? Lovely. Whatsoever things are what? Of good report. If there be what? Any virtue. And if there be what? Any praise. What did they not say? Think on these things. Are you getting that? That is what you should be thinking about at this things. It must be of praise. It must have virtue. He said if it's pure. If it's loving. Wealth is, see, listen, if it's of good report, can you imagine that somebody paid 100 million into your account after you did a transaction with the local government or Asaba people and they later paid you 100 million? Is that good report? Will you share testimony? That's what you should be thinking about. That one day you are going to do a business that will turn over 500 million. There is somebody, by the time you are celebrating 40, by the time you are celebrating 40, you are already doing business in billions. Yeah. I don't like the way you are saying amen at all. Yeah. If you want to sleep, you better sleep. If you don't want to sleep, you better say better amen here. Yeah. That is what should be in my mind. That these things, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are good about, whatsoever things are what? Loving. He said, if enough, after reading all these things, and I say, if he now added some clause, is that if there be praise and what? Virtue. That is, that established the fact that these things can be in place and there's no praise. That is, after you have thought of these things, if there is praise, if there's praise, if people will hear and say, wow, praise God, that should be your thought. That should be your thought. Now, quickly, because of time, how do I build a sound mind? How do I think right? One, expose your mind to the word. It takes the word of God to think right. Don't be a Christian that wakes up in the morning without reading the Bible. That is, listen to me now. Listen, please. Expose your mind to the word. The word, anything you expose your mind to is what builds your mind. There are guys that we sit down, what they are just thinking about is porn. They have exposed their mind to that. Anything you expose your mind to governs your life. That is, for you to have a correct mind, sir, you must expose your mind to the word on a daily basis. That's the first way to build a correct mind. Two, move with people that think right. 
The Bible says, He that move with the wise shall be what? Wise. A companion of fools shall be grossly destroyed. Association can tell your allocation. There are people you move with, you will not see money in your life. And there are people you move with, they will attract favor to you. He said, and Joseph was in the house of Potiphar and God blessed Potiphar because of Joseph. Because of Joseph. Association, first allocation. That is, move with right thinking people. Not people that doesn't think right. I speak with Pastor David Oedipo virtually every week. If we don't speak at all, it's once a week. Not for five minutes, sometimes 30 minutes we're still talking. Move with right thinking people. Who are your friends? Friends that will encourage you not to serve God. Friends that will tell you you are serving this God too much. That's no friend. Association is the mother of allocation. The word allocation is gotten from the word reward. What is entitled to you? They are located to you. Your allocation will speak. Amen. You want to be correct mind? Lastly, talk to yourself. Talk back to yourself. Right talk, speaking back to yourself. It is what you say to yourself that forms your belief system about yourself. Words are powerful. Hello? Look up. Look up. Stop writing. Somebody lift up your right hand. Lift up your right. Say this after me. Say what's are powerful. If the devil wants to scatter you from coming to this church, do you know what he will do? He will program somebody in your life that will discredit this church before you. Even at the instant, you will say, I don't lie. I don't believe. I don't lie. I don't believe. I don't lie. I don't believe. At night, you'll be thinking it. The person spoke to you last week. Once in a while, that thing will flash your mind. That is why who you relate with matters. Speak back to yourself. What's are powerful? Tell yourself, I am great. I am the best thing that ever happened to Nigeria. See, listen. I have been telling myself that I'm a blessing to Africa and the world. Since when I was 15 years. What you say to yourself is what you believe. And if you are not saying anything to yourself... The devil will be saying something to you. That is, there's what called self talk. Talk back to yourself. Talk back to yourself. My business is working. Now, as you talk back to yourself, what happens is that your mind is formed. Your mind is what? Formed. I'm not a failure. I'm a success. I can't fail in this life. I'm going somewhere to happen. What you say is what you take. What you say is what you are. You take it. That's a reverse longer. It's what you say you take. There are people that have not said anything to their selves. Just wake up. Ha! Nonsense. When you wake up, the lion has woken up. Today is blessed. Am I speaking to a church here? That's how to build a correct mind. Two, let's move fast. It's wisdom. Wisdom. You want to command word? You must be a man of wisdom. Every poor man will end up as Every foolish man will end up as a poor man. Wisdom. Somebody say wisdom. Then if you have married and you and your wife have the same temperament, then you have to bend. I taught in one of the married class and I said, for marriage to work, you apply what we call the bicycle theorem. There's a law of bicycle. If the two want to come down, the person driving the bicycle come up, the bicycle will fall. Am I right? One have to come up, the other one what? Come down. For the bicycle to what? Move. When this one is getting angry, you come down. When you are getting angry, you go down. With that, your marriage will last. Somebody say wisdom. 
apply wisdom. Somebody shout wisdom. wisdom. Shout it louder. Wisdom. That is wisdom is the right application of relevant knowledge. Not every kind of knowledge. Relevant one. As it has to do with your issue part time. You don't use the cancer of Mr. A to cancer Mr. B. That is why I said wisdom is the right application of relevant knowledge. Relevant one as it has to do with your issue. That is why the mother of wisdom is knowledge. You can't say you are wise and you don't know things. So I'll be a wise guy eh? and you know they read. You'll be a native wise guy. I'll be a wise guy and you don't read. See, any young man here, no matter what you are saying, if you are not reading, you might not survive. Oh. The way the world is going. Ten years ago, if they want to shoot on video, where's Michael? They will stand on plane to shoot a Lugota. They will bet themselves to shoot on air, all those things. Am I right? But now, there is a projecting plane, small plane. They just press a and you'll be seeing everything. Am I right? There's camera inside. They can send camera from Lagos to worry, to video worry. What is happening? And send it back. You will know that they came. The world is revolving. The world is advancing. Why not you advance? Why not? Look at the way you are even sewing cloth for people. You not tell people to manage it like that. Are you not my brother in Christ? Even in singing, you need wisdom. There is nothing in this life you don't need wisdom. Even in marriage. Didn't you read the Bible that said true wisdom is a house built? Any aspect of your life you are deficient of wisdom, you will think it's Satan. Wisdom is more powerful than Satan. Wisdom is older than Satan. He said by wisdom, God has founded the earth. He founded the earth by wisdom. That is Satan inclusive. Because Satan was created. It is the wisdom of God that created Satan. Somebody shall wisdom. wisdom. Somebody shall wisdom. wisdom. Say, let me say this before I proceed. Look up. Look up. See, hmm? if you are bearing a name, you need to pray that name to manifest in your life. Because if you don't pray that name to manifest in your life, the devil will make sure the name is opposite of what you are displaying. For instance, if you are bearing something like, okay, like what should I use? Let's say faith. You just see somebody bearing faith. All he demonstrates is fear. How many of you have friends like that? That bears faith. And you have not even seen any faith manifest in his life. You say, I beg, I beg, I don't want to do the business, I beg. And you have faith. It's the devil. You see somebody bearing hope. Every time he talks faithlessness, hopelessness. Now people don't want to bear those names. They not bear English name. Brixen. Brixen. Maxen. I don't know. Okay. You not see somebody bearing courage. You not be demonstrating fear. Wisdom. So much have wisdom. I just want to be very direct. How do you get wisdom? Now, before we look at how you get wisdom, there are classes, there are types of wisdom. We have four kinds of wisdom. How many kind? You have what we call the earthly wisdom. The earthly wisdom, they don't teach you. You don't need to teach a child how to suck the breast. The child, naturally, there's something inside of him that showed him that this is the breast. Am I right? Mothers, am I right? That's earthly wisdom. You don't need to teach somebody how to use the toilet. That's earthly wisdom. You don't need to teach somebody how to sleep. He grew sleeping. Earthly wisdom. You now wake up and say, a child is You say, no, when you don't get tonight like you, you close your eye like this. No, no. Did they teach you that? Huh? Earthly wisdom. It comes naturally. After that, we have the second class of wisdom called sensual wisdom. The word sensual wisdom is got from the word sense. You go to school to learn that one. Some people use the word common sense that is not common. Sensual wisdom. You studied, you learned about that sensual wisdom. 
after then we have devilish wisdom diabolical wisdom that's the wisdom sorcerers witchcraft uses or cultic people uses devilish wisdom and after that one we have the final wisdom which supersedes all is called divine wisdom the wisdom that is from above we're going to read scripture to validate what i'm saying james chapter 3 15 to 18 quickly media be very fast we're running out of time james chapter 3 15 to 18 okay let's read to validate what i just shared one this wisdom descended not from above but is what earthly i said the first kind of wisdom is what earthly wisdom two is what sensual sensual wisdom three is what devilish verse 16 you see before we go to that verse 16 we have seen how many kind of wisdom now the first one is what the second one is what the third one is what now let's look at the fourth one for where envy and strife is there is confusion and every evil work that is in a church where there's envy there's strife evil works will be functioning that is in a church where I'm not in competition with anybody do your thing I do my things am I talking to somebody here now verse 17 let's read but the wisdom hold on before we come to this place he said for where envy strive and all that that is those first three kind of wisdom can produce those things it will produce strife it will produce envy hello it will produce evil works but he now went further to say he said but there is another supreme wisdom he said but the wisdom that is from above is first what pure that is there's a wisdom that is from above and that wisdom is pure then peaceable gentle and easy to be entreated full of mercy and good fruit without partiality and without what hypocrisy that is we have four kind of what wisdom now how do you get the fourth one because the one you need is the fourth one which is the wisdom from above how do you get it quickly one you get it by asking him james chapter 1 verse 5 by asking he said if any of you lack wisdom let he ask of god that give it to all men what liberally the word liberally means lavishly that is even though people are saying you are foolish you can change that statement by asking God for wisdom. It's something you can ask for. And when God gives it to you, it becomes real. And let me tell you something about the gift of God. See, Matthew 7, 7. It says, ask and it's about. The only thing you don't have from God is what you have not asked. There is no gift of God you can manifest. The only thing you don't have is what you have not what ask lord fill me with the spirit of wisdom listen there was a time i couldn't explain the bible i would just come to the altar then in greater jivas look at me everyone i'll just come i said today everybody shout today respond everybody shout today, today. say today. today say today. today you will hear say today, today. i'm telling you today <laughs> And the Lord directed me to meet a man, Pastor Ujeme. When I met Pastor Ujeme, he looked at me, smiled. He said, Nidan, he laid his hand on me. I opened the Bible, I can get different interpretation. By asking, anything you don't have, you have not asked. That is the first way you get this wisdom, is by asking. Two, the second way you get this wisdom is by studying. It says, study to show thyself a proof. A workman that is not a shame, but rightly dividing the word of truth. That is, you can get it by studying, by books. Daniel said, I, Daniel, understood by books. By books. Read, if you don't want to be read. It is what you know that you show. It is what you know that you are, you show. Walk with wise people. He that move with the wise. Shall be what? Wise. A companion of fools. Shall be what? Destroyed. Wise people. Wise people. 
I always am on that. One wrong friend can cancel all the blessings you receive from here. One wrong friend. When Jonah entered the boat, the boat started capsizing. Pastor. One wrong friend. That friend that always tell you nonsense about your church. One wrong friend. One wrong friend can cancel everything you have received from a man of God. Association is everything, no? Paul speaking. He said, evil communication corrupt good manners. Who are your friends? Quickly, benefit of wisdom. One, long life. We are closing. Next week, we'll touch the other side. Benefit of wisdom. One, long life. Long life. The length of days are in his end. Two, prosperity. Three, peace. Every wise man will experience peace. Four, favor. If you are lacking favor, you lack wisdom. If you are lacking favor, you lack wisdom. Rise up on your feet. Rise up. Everybody rise up. Nobody should sit down. Have you been blessed? Did you gain something? Now, as you are standing, in one minute, I want you to pray for the spirit of wisdom to come upon you. Lift up your two hands above your head. Pray for that spirit. So, Siso. Hello, so Siso Nobe. Yes. Hero Siso. Hello, so Siso Nobe. Ezana. Ezana. Oh, Ezana. Oh, hero.